Aha. 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 Uh-huh. Okay. Love you too. Bye. No problem. Uh-oh. Sister Maria spent a lot of money on some new textbooks. I know textbooks are expensive. Tens of thousands of dollars. And you know how much she likes spending money. She said we have to cover our textbooks. Okay. I remember doing it when I was in school. And I tried not doing what she told me to once. It did not work out well. Okay. Do you know how to cover a book? I do. I think I can remember. I think I'm good. What do you need? Um, I need the textbook. So we're going to use this one. It's our reading textbook. Okay. Uh, a brown paper bag. Where did you get that? I got it at Hannah first. Uh, so scissors. Thank you. And a pencil. Okay. It's been a long time since I covered a book, but I think I can remember the steps. I trust you. Okay. I have seen. First, we have to open the bag. Open the bag. Okay. I'm going to take the scissors and we're going to cut down this long rectangular side of the bag. all the way to the bottom. Then, when we get to this edge, we're going to cut around this rectangle, that's the flat bottom of the back. So you're cutting the bottom off? Cutting the bottom, right around don't the bottom. Don't want the bottom. No, we don't need it. Your edges aren't perfect, is that okay? It's okay, because uh. we're going to fold the back so it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. What do we do with the bottom? We don't need it. We can recycle it. We can trash it. We don't need it. Perfect. Okay. All right. Next step. Any letters or writing need to be face up. Because this will be the inside and it won't matter. What we don't want writing on the outside. Correct. Because okay. we're going to write some special things on the outside when gotcha. we're finished. That makes sense. Where's Mrs. King? Oh, Mrs. King's at the beach. Okay. Mrs. King's preparing for fourth grade. Okay. Now we take our textbook and we lay it in the middle of the back. Middle. Middle. Not way over here on the edge. Gotcha. Not way up here at the top. Gotcha. Not way down here at the bottom. Gotcha. It's got to be pretty much in the middle. So the amount of space up here should match the amount of space down We've here. We've got to try and spread it out so that we're close to the middle. Gotcha. And the amount of space over here should be the same as the amount of space over here. You got it. Gotcha. We're in the center. Gotcha. Okay. Now, we're going to take the top part of this bag. Yes. And we're going to fold it. Crease it. Oh. Line it up with the top part of this bag, uh, uh, top part of the book, I guess. Fold it and crease it. Fold it and crease it. Gotcha. Okay? We're going to do the same thing with the bottom. Fold it and crease it. Fold it and crease it. Right along the bottom part of the book. Gotcha. Okay? So now when we move the book, we've got two pretty distinct lines here, right where the book was? Because you creased it and folded it. Exactly. We're going to try and fold this up as straight as we can. Whoops, that's okay. Not going to be a big problem. If it rips, it's not a big deal. Okay, press, press as straight as possible. If it's not perfect, we don't have to tear it. Gotcha. Straight as possible. Okay. Same thing at the top. Fold it down. Try and use that really, the part that we pressed really hard and creased, try and use that as a guide. Press. Oh, so that's how you know how long to yep. make the fold. Yep. That does not look like a good cover. It will. Okay. Press, press, press. There we go. Now I'm going to take our book again, put it in the center, in the middle. Gotcha. Center. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Now we're going to, hmm, what are we going to do? We're going to take this top part, this, this left hand side here, over the cover. Gotcha. And we're going to do that same creasing thing. Crease and fold. Crease and fold. Crease like this. So we see where that line is. The yes. Crease, okay? Now we're going to open this. 
and we're going to fold on that crease, crease that we need. <laughs> Mr. D, look, see, when I open this book, after I fold that over, there's, there's a little extra space there. Yes, yes. That's okay. But because we want that. We want a little extra space there because when this goes up, the cover needs to slide a little bit. Uh, Otherwise, it will be too tight and it won't. Can I take that down? Um, I'll show you what you could okay, do at okay, the end okay. if you need to. Okay. So now what you do is you, you open up these flaps and, and you stick this part of the book right inside these flaps. Oh, because you crease and folded right, it along the center. Creased it and folded. Now, when I shut this, you'll see this is sliding up into the fold. Oh. And now you asked about tape. Yes. If this little part pops out a little bit, you could get a small piece of scotch tape and you could tape. Tape it right half. to the book. No, don't tape it to the book. Oh, Sister Maria would be very upset because that could ruin the cover of the book. That's what she's trying to avoid. So don't it's tape it to the book. She doesn't want to damage the no book. No tape on right? the book. No tape on the book. So you would just take a small piece of scotch tape and you could tape from here around on the bag to the back side. That makes sense. Okay. All right. So we've got. Pretty much half of this all set, right? Okay. Here we go. Now here comes the interesting part. Remember I said if this ripped, it was yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna end up cutting a little bit of this extra off, I think. Sure, you're gonna need that. We're not even gonna need this extra part. Okay? So we're gonna do the same thing that we did with the, the crease, crease, and and crease and fold. Crease and fold. Right. We're gonna bend this up and we're gonna crease. Okay? Now remember I said we need to give ourselves a little extra room. Yes. So You're gonna come out if a we bit. have a pencil, we could make a line and then just give ourselves a little extra before we fold, or we can crease it if we feel comfortable with that gotcha. and get a really good line there. I'm going to do both just to be safe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, when we open this up and we move over, we can see the line that I made. Plus, mm -hmm. we can see the crease. Yeah. Right? I'm going to cut maybe about mm, two or three inches over from that line. I can recycle this or trash it. Now I fold on that line or that mm -hmm. crease. And I do the same thing over here that I did on the other side. I just tuck in the book. Just like you did on the other side. Just like I did on the other side. And I shouldn't take the cover to the book. Do not take the cover to the book. She won't be happy. She won't be happy. You could always get a little piece of tape if you needed to for this part right here and wrap it around onto the back. Press, press and fold are like the key words here. And now you're done. Almost. There's one more thing I need to do. I need to know whose book this is, right? I don't know whose book it is. Well, it's my book. Oh. We're pretending it's my book okay. anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna take a marker. It could be a Sharpie, whatever. Mm -hmm. Something dark and, and pretty bold, okay? So I'm gonna write my name. So you know whose book it is. Exactly. So if it's on a shelf or in a book bag, you know exactly who it is. Right. I'm also going to put my class code here. You know why? Why? Well, if I go to after school and I oh, forget my book. Oh, Mrs. McManus finds it. She's not going to know whose it is. We don't want her taking the book cover off. Exactly. She'll know whose it is if my name's on it. That makes sense. The other thing that's really helpful for me, and I think you'd agree, is if we put the, the the type of book that it is, reading, a, a name, the subject, per, subject, and maybe my name here too, so that if it's on a shelf lined up with other books, I can easily find my book. I don't have to book. pull it off right. and check every single So book. I'm going to go to the spine part of the book, mm -hmm. and I'm going to put reading right down the spine. That's brilliant. And then I'm going to put my name. That's brilliant. And I'm even going to put my class code at the bottom. That way we know for certain. Excellent. Okay. And you're going to do this to your reading book, and you're going to do this to your math book. That's right. Because you said, like you said, Sister Maria spent a lot of money on these books. I don't want to get her angry. I don't want to get you her angry. You would like her when no. she's angry. I don't want to damage these books. They're beautiful. They're in great shape and mm -hmm. great condition. Excellent. Okay. And everything's ready? I think Thank so. you very much. I'll go let Mrs. King know what you're talking about.